We're here today in uh, San Jose with uh, Zev Werman, and uh, Zev's a software engineer from Palo Alto. He may not be a household word to many in California, but Zev was instrumental in creating the state's math, math uh, frameworks in the 90s. And if you've been following the debate over the proposed Common Core standards for the states, you've seen him in the thick of the debate. So Zev, welcome. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. In a nutshell, what is Common Core and uh, standards and why are they important? Well, the Common Core standards are essentially the states coming together starting last year and trying to put together a set of standards that may be applied across the nation. As a principle, it's a nice idea, but it has to work very well and because it's going to affect the whole nation. And the question really is, did it work very well? And so far, I'm not so sure. So the intent, I think, is to raise the level of the standards for most states. Is that a, would you agree that that's a goal? Yes, that's the stated goal. And indeed, if you look at the results so far, you could argue uh, with a straight face, yes, it is a goal that is higher for many states than the currently available or currently they are adopted there. However, there are also many states where it's not higher for them. And unfortunately or fortunately, California is one of the states that we today have a very demanding, very rigorous standard internationally benchmark. And the Common Core currently doesn't seem to be a aiming so high as California is right now. All right, before we get into that, uh, uh, what's wrong with the standards, precisely what is the state obligated to do? It is technically voluntary, is it not? Yes, it is voluntary. And as long as the state applies for the race to the top funds, which it did until the, the first round, and it will probably the second round, a, adopting those standards or committing to adopting those standards is going to give extra bonus points for the state. So if the state is interested in getting the rest of the top money, it certainly is incentivized to adopt those standards. Okay, so you get a lot of points if you do that on your race to the top application. You get 40 points on the scale of 500. Okay. Uh, whether it's sufficient for California, <laughs> clearly not, because we didn't come out very well on the first round, even though we did, got those, uh, did get those 40 points. Right. Well, you've been a critic all along from the original drafts, and, um, and so uh, others, Fordham Institute, which has praised California standards uh, in the past, has come out and given the math an A minus, I believe. So, so um, and some say it's a vast improvement over what most states have. So, specifically for California, what's wrong with it? Uh, specifically for California uh, is the issue of 8th grade mathematics is probably the biggest one. Currently California expects uh, its student to study math algebra in 8th grade. We understand and realize we cannot expect it immediately for 100% of our cohort, but we have, we have made uh, great strides toward that goal. The Common Core standards uh, do not expect students really to study algebra in eighth grade. That's the first big problem with California. The second big problem with California is that the college readiness standards that Common Core came up with are really not good enough to uh, enter co uh, California colleges. Uh, they are much below the admission requirements for California State University. So this is another pretty big problem. So we're talking primarily Algebra 2, geometry, are not rigorous enough? It, this is correct. The definition of college readiness in Common Core does not include the full geometry and Algebra 2. So the risk is what uh, if the state adopts the standards, either colleges will lower their requirements or students won't be taking the rigorous courses that they would need? That's the probability that of uh, happening, indeed. Uh, we already have children that are uh, taking the entry requirements, needing a rem large, large, amount, uh, large fraction of the needs remediation. Well, if we lower the expectations, clearly the remediation rate will just go up. I see. So, my understanding is under Common Core, the state must either adopt it or reject it. You can't modify it. Each state can't modify it. But you can add 15 percent. You have this factor where you can play around with it and make things strengthen it if you want to. Do you think that that's um, 
not possible to strengthen Common Core to make it parallel to what California has now? Uh, unfortunately, I do not. 15% uh, uh, on top of Common Core will not bring our students to algebra in eighth grade. It's nice that uh, we can add something on top, and it's certainly important, especially in English language arts, where we may want to have some California-specific literature or some uh, other works of uh, some other works. Uh, however, in mathematics, to replace what Common Core currently suggests with algebra will take much more than 15%. Mm -hmm. So the implication, I guess, is not just adopting standards, because when you change the standards, that has all kinds of ramifications with regard to textbooks, curriculums, professional development. Is that right? And is, are there expenses involved here? You are actually touching on a very important point that was not discussed very much. Uh, the Common Core, once you adopt it, it's just the beginning. Everything in California is aligned to our current California content standard, and that includes our assessment, teacher training, pre-service, in-service. All these things will have to be realigned again if we adopt the new standards. When we did it last time, around 1998, we had a lot of money. That was the peak of the boom, and California was flush with cash. We just uh, added $1 billion in 99 just for the textbook adoption to be done on accelerated schedule. Right now we have no c money like this and uh, the most we can get from the race to the top is a at most $700, billion, a billion, a $700 million one-time money. This is nowhere close to the amount of money that California will need to adjust and align all the pieces behind the new adoption of the standards. So here we are in April. Tell us what the timeline is between now and when the State Board of Education votes. Uh, California passed a law last December that committed to vote up or down on the standard by August the 2nd. Uh, the Common Core Initiative expected the standards to be ready for adoption uh, by February. We are right now basically in April and we are nowhere close. In fact, uh, hearing the amount of feedback that Common Core Initiative is getting, uh, it seems that they will be not ready even by June or possibly later. Uh, this is very obviously bothersome or troubling because uh, the state will have to vote it up and down and the process has to start now if you want to adopt it by August the 2nd. So are there aspects of Common Core that, if we adopted in some fashion, would improve California standards? I think there is a place to look at our current standards and do a thoughtful work and see where we can revise them in view of some ideas that came out through the Common Core initiative. I'm not sure what would be the process, what will be the process for this kind of thing, but it's something that sounds reasonable. Uh, we don't have the process right now. Right now we can either adopt all of the common core standards or not. We cannot just adopt bits and pieces of it. So um, I guess we get to the bottom line, Zev. If, uh, should it be, uh, of course we haven't seen the final draft yet and it could be changed somewhat, uh, perhaps to uh, your satisfaction, but given today, if you had to say up or down, sh uh, should California uh, adopt the Common Core or reject it, what would you say? As you said, we have to wait and see until we see the final uh, version of it. Uh, however, based on the current status, I would say we should probably reject it. Uh, but let's hope maybe they will be improved very much in the next month or so. And we still can do the assessments that's the other piece, right? We still can do the assessments whether other states and modify our current California testing, right? No, we cannot do our, we cannot keep our current testing. We'll mm -hmm. have to replace the testing if you replace the common core, the, the common core with uh, okay. for our standards. Yes. There's a lot of work has to be done in the next uh, four months. Uh, we, we look forward to seeing what happens with Common Core and talking with you in the future once the final regs are out. Zev Worman. Thank you. Thank you very much for joining us today. Thanks for watching.